This was a study funded by the Gates Foundation. The goal to see how early a body characteristic like a fingerprint can be used to identify children. When we first started working on this almost two and a half years ago, every fingerprint expert we talked to said, oh, you, you would not be able to capture the fingerprints of uh, children under two or under three. But now MSU professor Anil Jain says that's no longer the case thanks to the work he did with his team of biometrics researchers. Starting in March of 2015, they traveled to a small town in North India every three months to fingerprint the same child for one year. Having reliable prints as early as possible allows their health care and vaccinations to be tracked better, especially in developing countries where there's a lack of proper care and record keeping. Typically what happens is in these countries in rural areas, a health a health camp will be set up, so these are not permanent structures. A health care worker may come on motorcycle or bicycle and, and will do the inoculation. But it's very important to know who has been inoculated and who has not been inoculated. Jan and his researchers observed 300 kids from newborns to four and a half years old. The first of its kind study used digital scans of their thumbs. One of the main questions people had not answered is, does the child fingerprint remain the same as the child grows or does it change? And what we have shown is that if we start observing the child at six months, for example, there is no change. Jen says their study showed that they can ID children six months old over 99% of the time based on their thumbprints. So if that's how records are kept, with the touch of a finger, health care workers could have access to their medical history. That would give children better access to life-saving immunizations and even nutrition. Jen says the World Food Program is interested in his team's work. The number of applications is numerous. I mean, it's not just restricted to vaccination. Uh, and the question basically is, if we can recognize adults based on fingerprints or face or whatever, why can't we do the same thing for, for babies? People just have not devoted enough resources to this problem. His study showed that prior to six months, the fingerprint scans weren't reliable because the skin was so soft that the images were often distorted. But maybe in the future, better scan technology could change that. He hopes to make the system work for the first shot given, which is around one month old. Question is, if I take the fingerprints of a one month old baby, can I recognize the same baby three years later? The professor says capturing a child's print can also help ID them in cases of human trafficking and kidnapping. As for his study, the professor plans to continue it on the same children every year for another four years so they can better evaluate the use of those prints. Anu Prakash, 7 Action News.